production. So yeah, let's get started now. Beam steam. Uh, let me restart Steam in offline mode so we aren't uh, interrupted. Yeah, oh, until uh, 29, so you have two days. To, uh, hey, business license? I don't even have a business license. Okay, so uh, let me get ready with Steam. Uh, so, yeah, um, we don't need C2 for that, so I wanted to go back uh, just on a little thing about uh, animation. Um, I show you, I showed you how to uh, use animation with um, just animation frame, something you do yourself uh, on another application, and drawing application, animation application. You export or in 3D render. You export some uh, animation sprites, and then you can have your animation. Uh, there's another way to uh, to to use animation in the in theory in video games. It's to use simple sprite and just animate their rotation, position, and uh, scale sometimes. And uh, to do this, there's a, a, a software uh, and a former uh, construct user made. Let me recheck something first. Beam, and um, so it's called Spriter. It's made by uh, Lucid. Someone nicknamed Lucid, and uh, it's uh, basically you have a, uh, you can animate your uh, your uh, your character um, by just moving some uh, some image. Uh, they probably have a, so I give you the the link here. Hi it's everyone. probably uh, not really good to see videos on a on a broadcast like this. So um, in short, you, with this you can um, reduce the memory footprint uh, of uh, image because you only have one image that is uh, moved during runtime to make the animation. Uh, one image for the arm, the forearm, for the head, for the the hand, for the weapon, and s so uh, that's another way to uh, animate. The good way in this situation is that you can even use uh, some uh, procedural animation to aim. Uh, for instance, if you have a, a shooting game, you can aim at uh, at your enemies, and the, you can. Uh, program your game so the, the weapon aims directly to uh, at the enemy whereas if you have a uh, simple sprite animation you can't really uh, or you will have to uh, to make uh, tons of animations to consider every angle you can move your uh, your, uh, your gun or, or your bow or your shotgun etc. So uh, yeah that's another way to consider animation and there's already uh, a plugin we we won't cover uh, this plugin because I honestly never used it. Um, I just tested it, uh, imported uh, a file, uh, see how it works. But uh, I've never went too far with it. But there's a, a plugin for uh, Spriter, and uh, if you're interested, uh, the downside of Spriter is that it's not uh, free. So uh, you. You would have to to buy the animation application. Uh, however, the <laughs> the plugin is free. Spriter. Oh, I don't know where I put the the um, the topic, but uh, you should. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Lucid. Uh, just uh, released uh, the last ones uh, not long ago. <laughs> <laughs> made a mistake here so yeah if you're interested uh, you can probably try I don't know if he has a, a demo version for Spriter so I invite you to, to dig in the, the website anyway now that's the only thing I wanted to talk about concerning animation we will uh, go back to the game as I left it 
after the last extra video. Who didn't watch the extra video I've made uh, this week? You didn't? Because I've, uh, if you see the size of the of the file, I added the uh, graphics and effects, so now it looks uh, very much like Neon Platformer. So uh, if you missed that, uh, remember to always check the uh, the University of Reddit page. Everything is always updated here, so you have all the lecture one two the extra video we've made last week, the, vi the last session, and here are all the videos I've made uh, this week. Well, yeah, this week. I've made them uh, on Wednesday. So uh, you have uh, some extra concept explained here. So uh, unfortunately, I won't uh, cover them today. If you have any question about them, I will uh, answer them. But uh, that's how far I went with uh, with the game. Everything you see here is covered in those videos. So I, I added uh, backgrounds, a little gradient, uh, the, the particle here. And uh, if you play the game, you pretty much have the same as uh, what we have uh, in the neon platformer with uh, with the I didn't I don't know how I did it in the oh I I do I remember now just switching uh, these two to additive because <laughs> it's a bit ugly yeah I didn't do a, a nice job at uh, avoiding the the glow to, to bleed uh, on the side of the of the sprite but with a yeah with a little uh, additive effect it's uh, better okay so i added uh, health pickups you can pick uh, once you have uh, take damage ah i can't take damage without dying ah don't die up take damage and don't die, s'il te plaît. Okay, well, you c you have to trust me on this. If you take damage, you can take uh, health pickup, re replenish your health. I changed the HUD to uh, something a bit more, uh, a bit uh, better, I think. If you take uh, what was the coins before, you can, uh, yeah, you can replenish, you can, okay. You understand the, what I did. I added a little uh, bit of uh, parallax in the background as well, etc. So, uh, what I before uh, audio, I will um, I will um, just add another level. So duplicate duplicate this one, level two and add the code to change level at the end of the level so what I will do is create a global uh, variable to hold the current level number <coughs> I will say if the current level is... Uh, no mm, I will say something like um, if you reach the end of the level I will add an, a constant to tell you the number of total level you have. So we have two levels. It's this one is to know when you finish the game. So when you are at the end of the level, you can do if current level compare variable. Hey, cat, you are late. Uh, current level is lower than. total level you 
go to the next level, you increment the current level value. Add to current level uh, 1. <coughs> then you go to the level, uh, go to layout, but this time, go to layout, you don't have really, uh, you have to specify the layout. But go to layout by name, you can do level space ampersand current level this way when you reach the end so we start al at level 1 when you reach the end of the level you're not at level 2 you're lower than level 2 so you add 1 to current level which makes 2 and you go to level 2 when you reach the end of level 2 so else you can say set the text to visible etc and what uh, would be interesting would be to have a stop ignoring input at start of layout this way when you change the level you have something uh, something uh, correct so here I'm uh, in level 2 I will just put the the particle system out of the way since uh, it will be positioned we start at level 2 over here at the beginning of the level uh, with the up. ok we'll change the level so we <laughs> Notice we change the level. Okay, so let's change this part, shuffle things around. Okay, I will lock a few things. So I don't end up moving. Ah, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> I will just cancel. I will just memorize the position of this one, copy, put it here, we don't have enough, uh, in the free version, we don't have enough um, layer to really, uh, I in, the f in the paid version I would put that on another layer, so I could uh, avoid uh, selecting it, okay, uh, let's see. Here, just ready to uh, notice the change in levels, and then I copy back the position here. Okay, I say in platform four. And uh, let's test this thing. I don't want to uh, take the time to play the whole level, so I will put this at the end. A bit of cheating. Up. So, end of the level, beginning of the next. Uh, you just missed uh, the announcement I did at the start of the the video cat everything <laughs> so okay now you can change levels the basic thing to uh, the basic thing to remember uh, about changing level is first for now maybe it will change but you can't refer to uh, to uh, layout by uh, given index or number so you have to use the name of the layout to uh, automatically change levels. If you have a third level, you can name it level three. Increment this value, and you will uh, you will um, be able to change automatically to the next level. What I didn't test yet is what happened at the end of level two. Well, let's see that. At the end of level two, beam it. 
it works uh, as I expected, it right just end at the middle of the screen and it's the end of the game.